Hi everyone, these are my tips to mastering the BCSC in Nevely and how I use my notes to help me achieve that. My number one tip would be to have easily accessible material and super organized. So I have everything uploaded on my drive in folders, such as birds and poultry. You can see equine, radiograph learning, so that's related to radiographs and how to interpret them. I also have ruminant, small animal, porcine. Let's look at an example um, of organization within each category. Further looking into categories, let's look at small animal. As you can see here, I have everything organized by systems um, so that I can compare it within species. I can compare it easily with equine digestive system, for example, equine ear or liver, um, equine neuro, um, or maybe, you know, immunology and allergy. I'm confused between small animal and ruminants. So I can compare systems from one species to the next easily. This brings me to my second point in mastering the BCSC and Nevely, and that is to do comparative studies. So we looked at comparisons and making comparisons between species, but also it's important to make comparisons within a species. Let's look at the specific notes for congenital diseases in small animals, um, specifically dogs. So here you can see that it is easy to compare one disease to the next because the sheets have, are organized in a way that one disease is on top and the next is you know below that and the next is below that. So you can always compare the causes of the disease, the symptoms of each disease, the diagnoses, the differential diagnoses, and the treatment and prognosis of each disease. Let's look at another type of comparative study. Here, I'm specifically looking at pleural effusion and on the one sheet of organize and summarize all the different types of plural effusions so that it's easy to just look at it and differentiate between the different types. As you know, this differentiation is what's going to help you master the Nevely and complete the exam. This brings me to my third point, which is that the notes should be concise. Here you can see that just looking at this one sheet, you're able to gather an idea about all the different types of plural effusions that there are and the differential diagnoses for each. My last and final point is to use a lot of visual aids in the notes as it helps process the information efficiently. Here, I have a diagram of a horse where the GIT system is labeled and it helps you visualize where everything is located in the horse and then specifically each section of the GIT system. This is really helpful to refresh the basics of anatomy. Aside from using pictures, labeling and diagrams, I've also used a lot of different types of fonts, different colors of fonts, and different colors in my sheets to highlight the most pertinent information. Ultimately, organizing my notes like this helped me quickly and efficiently differentially diagnose on the Nevely, which not only helped me pass the Nevely, but helped me finish it very quickly. This is basically the same feedback that I've gotten from clients and peers who've used my notes. These notes also really helped me speed up my revision process. One month before the Nevely, I was able to finish all my study material, finish revising it and looking at it twice in that one month. For more tips or to purchase my notes, you can connect with me with the email on screen or I will have it listed in the caption.